Cornwall's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Where is the Elderman? Did you see where he went? I, I don't know. Elderman who? Sorry, I I'm busy. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. It weren't wise to let those Mercians nobles. <laughs> These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Oh, oh, ah, damn it! Best not to draw attention here. More Mercians traipsing across our routes. 
Can't piss from here to Bolingbroke without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic has made smuggling a difficult job. Was fighting here about what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan looks like the elder men passed this way. A Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off, but he got away and headed east for Bolingbrock Castle. That's my best lead. Fresh air. Thank <laughs> you. 
must be careful now. is well protected. At times, I wonder what in God's name we are here for. Hunveor is his own prisoner. There's the target strike! Keep rolling with us! My lord, you carried yourself as a true born king, born in a time of wolves. You have earned a long rest. Thank you, beautiful. There now, my lord. All is prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Comes. Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his Hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often, they sound like my dear lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Hunwald. You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Hunwald deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No. Now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I have seen all I need to, but Hunwald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects. Though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. It's been more than a thought on. He's been in a sweet ace where we've meek they fall on peaceful. Foul rat droppings everywhere. 
Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. I do not know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Let's go hooded here. Eivor! What news? Your father is dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Hunbjörg's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Atya! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! Keep steady, Hunwald. You are now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of... ...dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord, have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Evening, 
Hunwal was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a Shire moot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your Shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunwald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the Elderman's seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire, and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ, or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbeor's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should follow her.